What would you want people to remember about your brother? Uh, he was he was an awesome guy. Loved fishing, loved this lake. He's been out here a million times. I mean, he's he would do anything for anybody. I mean, he would help <clears> out <throat> anybody. And Any, anyone that knew Nick yeah. was out here. And knew yeah. Nick, it left an impression on his life. And it was so many people. It's just because he was such a good person. And he kept good people around him. Were you, were you surprised at the number of people that came out to help search? I, I was overwhelmed yeah. with it. And, and, and it was hard to do the search for myself and, and kind of coordinate everybody and have my phone to my ear constantly to try to, to regulate everybody coming in and find out, you know. And, and it, was, it was amazing. I literally had my, my phone glued to my face for, for the last seven days. And it, it, was out, it was overwhelming. It was so many people and so much help. We're doing a, a candlelight a thing candlelight tonight at, uh, at the boat ramp. They, uh, they Scott Driver Scott Park Driver. is from 7 to 9 p.m. Yeah, there's hopefully we get, you know, people to come. If you want to come and see, you know, come say hi to us. We can thank you personally for, you know, everything you've done to help us. Nick left behind uh, a daughter and a wife, you know, and... I, I, it struggles for me to think about what they have to go through and, and how much um, they're going to have to put up with. And, and really, that the GoFundMe account is, is really would really help them, you know, uh, contribute. Um, so thank you again.